Imagine I am a business owner and there's two agencies that are trying to resell me Go High Level. The first agency's website looks like this. So let's give it a quick look, see what it looks like. And now the second agency that is trying to resell me Go High Level, their website looks like this. The question that I have for you is which agency would this business owner choose based on the websites that I just show you? Now the answer is very obvious to me and it's this website right here. The problem is that I see 90 plus percent of marketing agencies and agencies that are trying to resell go high level have websites that look like the first one. This video is for you if you are a GHL SaaS agency owner that is trying to resell go high level but your current website it's clunky, boring, it's not getting you any clients and when you show it to prospects they don't seem to understand how is it that the service or the software that you're offering to them can help them. My name is Rico and I run a Go High Level web design agency. I help businesses and agencies that run on high level get better websites that get them more clients. So today I'm gonna show you how I built this website. Let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how I built this website. All right, so as you can see, I am on the Go High Level's website editor, but before I show you how I built this website and the key decisions that I took, I first want you to take a look at a website that I see a lot of GHL SaaS agency owners having which is this one right here and what i'll do is compare it to actual SaaS websites that i found online the first thing that you see right here is that there's a lot going on it seems as if this website was unfinished just because like the different colors and how this navigation bar has like a white background while everything else has like that blue background so it just looks a little bit awkward this button is kind of hard to see or know that it even is a button just because it has the same color as the background this headline right here what i see is that there's just a bunch going on it says the ultimate ai powered all-in-one crm and marketing management platform even right now for me to say this was kind of hard and now the thing is that this doesn't speak to the prospect at all it doesn't tell them how is it that this software or this thing whatever is being sold on this website helps them and helps them solve their problems. As we scroll down, we see this button that is kind of jumping up and down. I see some funnels use it and I get the thought behind it. I see that it's trying to like entice people to just focus their attention there and click. But what I found from looking at other SaaS websites is that I haven't seen websites doing this right now. I see this in websites that are not legit and are wanting me to click. So this doesn't seem to be giving me a good impression. I see some benefits here. I see a bunch of stuff, but the main thing is that the website looks very generic very corporate, very boring. And at the same time, it's not speaking to me. It seems like 90% of the websites that I see about marketing and digital services, and it's just too boring, too much stuff going on. They didn't sell me on the power of go ahead level, which sucks because go ahead level is such a powerful software. It's kind of like a disservice not showing to our prospects. Hey, this tool can actually help you solve your business. But the fact that I had a website that didn't convey how I can help them is just something that I see some agency owners doing. This is the website that I built, as I mentioned. And the first thing that pops or kind of catches your attention is this effect that is moving right now. So it's telling me exactly who we help. So we help e-commerce, local, coaching, and consultant businesses. And the value prop is very clear. Grow your business from one place. Here we had something that was long, that was boring. In this case, it's very easy. Grow your business from one place. For instance, you see that this platform puts their value prop right here. It's very easy to understand platform built for growth. And in this case, I know right away that this platform will help me with my hiring. So just having a very clear headline on the hero section that doesn't talk about a feature, but actually talks about a desired outcome is something that I saw a lot of SaaS companies do. Now this effect I saw on this website right here, you see how this moves. So it says skyrocket your bed spot profits with its own referrals up rewards up membership app is very dynamic, very interactive. You also see that there's like this gradient from a purple to a red or a pink. And that's something that is so on a lot of different websites such as this one right here. This is instant lease website. So if you're doing cold email, I'm sure you've heard of this platform, you see here that there's that gradient that we talked about. But what you also see is that there's this image here at the bottom, which is kind of like halfway shown. And what this does is that subconsciously, it helps the user start scrolling. So if I scroll, it's like, okay, now I see the whole image. 
this gradient is kind of also helping me scroll. And as I start scrolling, I see the different benefits. I can start reading the text and so on. So that's kind of what we did right here. You see that you can just see the image. As I start scrolling, the first thing is that this image starts moving from the left hand side of the screen to the right hand side of the screen. As I scroll down, it moves more to the right. And as I scroll up, it moves more to the left again. So very cool, very interactive. And it's just something that are small touches that I added to make this website look better. Let me show you a different website here. Again, we have the moving text or the rotating text. And we see that this image is kind of halfway revealed. So it incentivizes the user to scroll on this website. When I scroll, the first thing that I see right here is some sort of features. And this is something that I see a lot of go high level websites do. They start talking about features right away. In my case, what I did is that I added this section for benefits right away. So save this amount of dollars by replacing all of your different platforms with this one platform, replace different softwares and also increase your conversions. So I'm talking about different benefits. I'm talking about the money benefit. I'm talking about the benefit that you'll be able to declutter your workspace. So instead of having different tabs for different softwares, you just have the one software. So that's more in terms of time but also in terms of more sales, more conversions. So what you can do when you're building your SaaS website is instead of talking about features, talk about the different problems that you solve and how the features will help solve a problem, which leads to money being saved or time being saved or just more sales, more conversions and so on. So that's kind of what I did right here. Again, using these cool accents that I saw on different websites to accentuate different words that I want to give importance to. I think Instantly was doing that as well. You see that down here, they wanted to accentuate the fact that they give unlimited outreach accounts. So that's kind of what they did here as well. I wanted to show you something else before I show you the features, which is the nav bar right here. You see that as I scroll down, it disappears. So it clears more of the screen's real estate and the user can actually focus on the second Section that they're scrolling but as you scroll up it appears again so let's just do that again so when i scroll down it hides and when i scroll up it shows again as opposed to this website right here first of all this navigation bar is too clunky too much going on there's different links telephone phone number the colors are not even matching and when i scroll down this thing right here is just so distracting. If I was to remove it completely, it would clear up some real estate in the screen, but then it would make it hard for navigation. So the user would have to scroll all the way to the top again to see the menu items and get in touch. But in here, because it's scroll responsive, the user can see the navigation bar no matter where they are on the website. That feature I modeled after this website. So as I scroll down, the navigation bar hides. So the website looks a little bit more clean. There's less going on, but if I scroll up, the navigation bar comes back into the screen. So it's easy for me to navigate to different pages or click the free trial or login buttons. Going back to this side right here, you see that here are the different features, but it's just boring, hard to read, and it's not interactive at all. On my website, what I did is I added them like this. And what's cool is that as I hover my mouse over each of the different features, the image moves a little bit up. So it's just something interactive, something cool, something to make it more dynamic. And I made each feature have a different color so that they stand out as well. So compare this, looks friendly, interactive to this looks boring, corporate, generic, and it looks like most of the high level websites out there. All right, so now I'm going to show you my favorite section of the website that my brother and I built. And it's this right here. See how this flows very nice, very beautiful. It almost looks like we were on Apple's website. So let's break it down. Something that I saw on SaaS websites that I liked a lot was the way that they show their graphics right here or the way that they show the software. So in this case, you see that these graphics are very beautiful and they've chosen a specific style to display the platform. Here you see how easy the platform is shown, how friendly, how interactive as well. So it's something to keep in mind when you're creating your graphics for your website and how you're displaying your SaaS. Make sure that's easy to understand for your prospect and looks easy to use as well. Here, this graphic looks very clean, easy to understand, and it's kind of like in 3D as well which is something that my brother and I did on our website as well. You see that the way that we're presenting each of the go ahead level features is in a way that is easy to understand. And it's kind of like 3D. What's also cool is that as I hover my mouse, the images become bigger. So enhancing that 3D effect, making it very interactive, very cool. If you compare it to a website that looks like this boring corporate, you can see why a business owner would go with the other agency as opposed to this one right here. Let me show you something on this website that we added on our website as well. So if I scroll down here, you see how this section looks very beautiful. And that's kind of what we did right here as well. So if I scroll down here, you see how it's kind of similar as well. So this was the inspiration and this is what we did. Something key is that instead of me talking about go ahead level has invoices, payments, 
contracts, and so on. I talk about how it can help them solve a problem. Get paid without any hassle in just four clicks. And I accentuate that without hassle because that's something that I want to give importance to. So problem, not feature. Here we have this interactive section as well, which is different logos moving from one side of the screen to the other. And it just says connects with the tools that you're already using. So when a prospect sees that they're already using different tools that this software will connect well with, it's another selling point that you can advertise on your Go High Level SaaS website. In terms of your pricing, we've kept it very simple, very easy to understand. There's two options. Subconsciously, we want users to sign up for this one. It's cheaper for the month, but this is annually. So it would mean more cash upfront for the agency. Now, something that I saw other SaaS do is that right below the sign up page right here, they had an FAQ. It's more likely for a prospect to take a decision and move forward if their answers or their concerns are answered. So the fact that we added this FAQ right here is something that can help a prospect take that decision. And here there's no FAQ. So a prospect that is still not sure will likely not sign up to the platform here. This website that I built has five different pages. It has home features, pricing, book a demo and get started. Something common that I hear a lot of Go High Level users say is that they can't build beautiful websites on the website editor, that the website looks clunky, looks boring, looks generic. It's all about how you design the website. And in this case, you saw how I was able to build this website on the Go High Level's website editor. You saw my thought process, my design decisions. If you are a GHL SaaS agency that has a website that looks like this, that is not getting you any clients, click the link in the description to get a copy of this website. A website like this would usually cost you $2,000, thousand even five thousand dollars but you can get it for just a fraction of the cost click the link in the description to get a copy of this website with that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video